What up, bitches? It's the misanthropic one, aka He Who Hungers, and I'm back up in this bitch for another rant slash review. Today, I want to talk about this album right here, Mad Child's latest album called Lawnmower Man. I've already spoke on Mad Child before. He's a dope MC from Canada in a group called Swollen Members. Check this shit out. Dope fucking shit. In fact, Swollen Members released an album a few months back called Beautiful Death Machine. Highly recommend that album to y'all. Check it out. And uh, Mad Child also released an album last year called Dope Sick. I think it made my uh, my album of the my top 25 of the year. Check out Dope Sick by Mad Child. Great album. All right, let's move on to Lawnmower Man. Mad Child's latest ish. All right. Let's get into some of the producers on here. You have C Lance. My boy C Lance. Shout out to my homie C Lance. You know what it is. You have Chin Injeti, Rob the Viking, who is the, the, the in-house producer slash DJ for um, Swollen Members. And you have the Icons. Beat-wise, most of the beats on here are dope as fuck. Especially with my man C Lance doing a lot of the beats on here. Fuck you haters. And if you've listened to Mad Child, you know he likes um, those hard as beats, a little bit eccentric, but they're dope. He 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 needs those type of beats to, to complement his his unique as voice. So the beats on here for the most part, they were okay. There were some commercial ones that were like eh, but I, I'll get into that a little bit later. Features on here. You only have five features on here. You have Sophia Dene, you have Slain from La Coca Nostra, Special Teams, yada, yada, yada. Shout out to my homie Slain. You have Prevail, who is one of the MCs in Solar Members. You have Bishop, uh, Bishop. Bishop Lamont, who I haven't heard from in a while, and JD Era. So you got, um, what is it, 14 tracks on this bitch and five features, like the ratio on that. A lot of the features, all the features come on here and do their thing. No one's super overwhelming. They, uh, most of this album is Mad Child doing his thing, which y'all know I like. Pros and cons of the album. Pros, um, Mad Child... I think that um, I definitely love the fact that on this album he he plays with his voice a lot more than he did on previous shit. You know, like I said before, he has a very unique voice for an MC, and he definitely is super comfortable on this album, fucking with his voice. Like like he goes up and down, and and and. Uh, he gets real aggressive with his voice. I mean, he always has been sort of aggressive because a lot of the the um, um, topics on here, well, a lot of the, the style on this album is battle rap oriented, just like the, um, the Beautiful Death Machine Solar Members album that just dropped. It, most of the album is based around battle rap rhymes or braggadocious rhymes. And Mad Child is one of those dudes that, that, that kills it. And his voice gives him fucking character. I fucking love that. That's definitely one of the fucking strengths on this album. Probably the, the greatest strength on this album is just that. <clears throat> Let's see. What else? Um, Beat-wise, for the most part, definitely love most of the beats on here. Uh, let me let me mix in some of the cons let me just go into it some of the cons on here uh, speaking of beat wise let me stay on that uh, songs like Nature of the Beast 
and uh, I think it's Good versus Evil have uh, a sort of like a commercial sound, like a radio friendly sound, which um, which is kind of weird. But even though Mad Child still rips it apart anyway, it just kind of was a little bit uh, outside of the uh, the whole feel of the album. <clears throat> um, the only conceptual song on here, if anything, was uh, one of the singles called It Gets Better, which is sort of like an uplifting track, and that's sort of a little bit outside Mad Child's usual realm, but it was still dope. I love the, I love the um, verses, and I love the, um, the uh, choir singing on the, uh, on the hook. Mm, what else could I talk about? Uh, Slain, the song with Slain, Chainsaw, fucking dope. I think Mad Child kind of owned that fucking verse. I don't want to say he killed Slain because Slain did go in, but I think Mad Child fucking owned that that track right there. What else could I talk about? Um, one of the cons that that kind of bugged me was it seemed like some of these songs were just like real like short. Some of them barely touched the three minute mark. They were just like real quick. And um, 14 tracks, it was just like, uh, you know. Um, but then again, you know, Mad Child has been putting out lots of work as of late. So I kind of understand it, you know. This should have been like an EP or some shit. You know, uh, cut it down to a couple songs and, and um, label it an EP or made two EPs out of the shit. My rating of this shit, I want to give it like a 6.75 to a 7. I think it was a solid release by Mad Child. It may still grow on me. It may make it on my list by the end of the year, but this is how I'm feeling right now. Look, I'm even still listening to it. The CD's not in there. The CD's in my fucking car. So, um, shout out to Mad Child. Shout out to Prevail. I'm wondering if Prevail is ever going to come out with a solo because Mad Child is tearing it up right now. Um, especially shout out to my nigga C Lance. You know what it is. I chop it up with you a lot. Keep doing what you do. And uh, that's all I got to say. Everybody else, y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Support dope shit. And that's it. Peace, bitches.